Because yes, I got a lot with me, and I got a greatest cause. I got I to gotta catch up. So I'm not saying that we're going to lose with each other, but I'm saying we need to get our best minds to come together. And we need to move on this, because this is a gift from Allah. This is not from White of the Dean, Muhammad the second, the first. This is from Allah. This started way back when we were released, let off the plantations, barefoot, naked with nothing. Allah, Allah saw this coming. I, when I saw this, I said, well, the economic problem still exists. So uh, the question is, is asked there, well, we black and we the ones with the problem. So why shouldn't we raise the black flag and say, well, uh, black people are underrepresented and this is a race issue. This is No, Allah gave us the answer, the solution here. We used to see the red, black, and green on everything and, uh, or the outline of the continent of Africa. And we would go and rush to the shelf and say, yeah, that's black, let me support that. And we don't think we did justice to our, our whole uh, family of African Americans because we, we bought that product off the shelf. You see, but then when our brothers sit down and say, invest in my business, then we can't help them, right? I'm not asking you for no money or investment. Don't even think that. But uh, this is going to happen. The business people, I'm putting this in the hands of the business people. Uh, this... Uh, Oh, let me get back to, where was I, where was I, where was I? Uh, yeah, the, the economic issue, the, the, economics of, no, the economics of this, us being un, underrepresented, and the flag, that's what it is. Right. That imagery, okay, think about that old imagery. Mm -hmm. Think about the image where, where now, they used to, black skin, uh, tigers, uh, uh, leopard print, and afros, and, all, and braids, and all of that. And, and one, they, they kind of mellowed it down after they had bombarded us with all these black images, black images, black images. And then they just drew a silhouette, a side, a profile of a woman holding a baby. Yeah. But she had keen features, features, and she had nappy hair, and so did the baby. And then the man was standing behind her, and he had keen features. So we would see that image or that silhouette. Some people still use it. I saw it recently on some Muslim stuff. It said New Africa or something. And I saw the images, those images. So I said, hi. Ah, I said, how in this day and time, we say we the leaders, that our leader gave us the best and the best instruction, how, are we, how do we respond and be effective, then uh, I couldn't accept it. So that's another thing. You don't compromise. When Allah tells you something, if it's not something that registers you on you as being something you're ashamed of or something negative, then you should embrace it. Just like you re reject those things that cause you shame, you should embrace those things that cause you curiosity and make you feel to move on. Uh, go after it until Allah shows you not, not to. So I said, well, I can't, I can't support that. So uh, now I'm thinking about um, uh, Prophet Ibrahim, right? He the one that saw things that he, wasn't he didn't approve of. And see, these messages are for us, for today. They ain't ancient. That's why some people approach me on the street and say, you a Muslim? Oh, ain't that an ancient religion? I say, that's here now. That's right now. The Muslim is today. And yes, the Islam was always here. Islam is the religion that God chose for us. So I say, yeah, but when? Now, it ain't ancient. As a matter of fact, it's the most modern. It's the only one recorded in, in, uh, in uh, history that you can look. You don't have to go to the Bible for Islam. That's what I'm saying. It's recorded in history. Uh, so, this day and time, thank you. This day and time, those images, they don't fly. But when you see this, y'all been staring at this long enough, I hope. When you see this, when you see that big old Y, and it don't have to be the white, because we got a green one on this side. And we got another logo where the Y is highlighted in white, and the colors are different. When you see this big Y, and our products and your product, I guarantee you, show this to people. Don't, you don't have to say nothing to them. Show this to black people and African American people. And then put it away. If you get an opportunity to see them later, ask them did they think about the image that they saw and what did they think. You know, sit them down. You know, a lot of us is crazy, so don't ask the craziest person you see. Don't ask the biggest fool you find. Find one that's intelligent. If they're sincere, they're going to say, you know what? That card speaks to me. As a matter of fact, and if you remind them of the other images that we've promoted many, many years of nationalism, black nationalism, 
they're going to say, you know what, that speaks to me just as loud, if not even louder, because it's more politically correct for this time that we're in. This is your product. This is our brand. This is for us. I don't care if it make me a dime. I don't care if I lose all my money on this. But I strongly feel, just as Imam Muhammad said he felt about CPC, because CPC is a term, it's a language. A person can take your good name, I've seen them do it, they did it to Jews, just for a while, Jews, to say you was a, the, the word Jew in some circles was a curse word. Now they're trying to make Muslim a curse word, there's too many of us, they're going to have a hard time doing it, because somebody, as soon as you say, yeah, them old Muslims, somebody going to say, excuse me, <laughs> no, uh, uh, what it, what, what problem you got with the Muslims? <laughs> and I've experienced that many times. That we got friends everywhere. That's right. And uh, so they can take your good name and turn it into a curse word. Because now when I hear CPC come out of a lot of people's mouths, I can hear the bitterness, I can hear the disappointment, and I can hear all of that. So what is CPC to a person that don't speak English? Mm -hmm. It's a bunch of gibberish, mumble jumble. Mm -hmm. What CPC is, is what Allah established when he created the first human being. He put no no human being, I quote it on here, let me read it. All people need a physical body to house their spirit. Quote, Imam W. D. Muhammad. He put no person in a physical in a no spirit. We're a spirit first. We're a creation of God first. In a on this earth to walk this earth outside of a physical body. So that's clear evidence. There's clear evidence that we are to have establishment, material establishment. It's our birthright, and it's what our line tells us. Uh, uh, that's enough on that. I'm excited about that, and we're going to keep you all updated on the progress of that. And the more we circulate, so I want you to share. I gave most of you these cards. Share these with people. We want it on the minds and the hearts of the people. And uh, uh, when we get the attention of the business people from our community, is our hope to have a national business meeting, and I want to be a student at the table of our business men in our community and see how we can make this work for our community to provide uh, economic uh, growth and entrepreneurship and uh, as a business initiative for all people that want to accept it, but first and foremost for our community because we need it more than anybody. Okay. Now, I think you, ma'am, this is going to be our last opportunity to speak to you all before a major event. Um, we're still following and keeping it alive. Mm -hmm. The legacy and the work and the efforts of, of yours. This is your community. That's right. This is our community. New World Patriotism Day. I didn't realize it had been, this, this is the, uh, the 35th year. I didn't realize it had been that long. We've had uh, great celebrities and people that lead to to lead the, uh, what do you call it, the, the band, the person that walks the drum least, the, the drum maker. And uh, we had some really good times. We had some really good times. And people can tell you about the history. This history is was pioneered by us. You see that image of Imam W.D. Muhammad in black and white? That's because it looked like something old. That happened a long time. Because 35 years ago, when the average black man would never even entertain the possibility in his heart to have a black president. Imam W. D. Muhammad pulled that flag out the post, grabbed it, in front of the members of the black Muslim nation of Islam, Afro black gods, black in the earth or whatever. You know, he picked that flag up, the white man's the devil uh, flag, uh, the oppression of over 400 something years oppressed, oppressed us, that slave master flag. He picked it up and said, he didn't have time to explain to you. He said, if you ain't gonna carry it, I will. I will. Nobody, not, not a muscle flesh in that room. Nobody, nobody stood up to protest. Now some people might have walked out the room. I hear some people walked out, but that's their choice. You know, uh, I, just, I was just reading the hadith the other day that Muslim, it's no compulsion in religion. That you can't, we can't make you follow our way if you don't want it. But Imam Muhammad, Allah blessed him with the insight. And look where we are today. I tell uh, people all the time, a sister was saying, sisters don't have any rights. But sisters need to be more in leadership. Sisters need to, I say, you got that right. You know, our mothers and our wives and our sisters, we all sisters. Sisters, that's right. Sisters, we need to fight for our sisters. 
But uh, we don't carry that guilt on us, not from our history. Some of our brothers 